Hi everybody, it's Miss Broad and this is the English lesson, the main English lesson for the 2nd of March. So make sure you're on the right day. And today we are learning to use capital letters. So who can remind me, when do we use capital letters? For what reasons? Yes, we need them at the start of a sentence for people's names, for the names of places. We also need them for the names of the months of the year and the days of the week. Do we use capital letters in the middle of a sentence? No, not unless it's a name, place, month, day. Okay, they're the only times that we use capital letters in the middle of a sentence. Some authors sometimes use capital letters for when they are shouting something. But we don't really need to do that in year one, so please don't try. Okay, now we're going to look at meerkat mail again. What do you notice straight away? <laughs> That's right, the author has used capital letters all the way across the title. It's a bit naughty. We don't usually use capital letters in the middle of words unless we're shouting something. But I've also noticed that Emily Gravett, who wrote the book, has got a capital E for her name and a capital G for her name. Now, what I would like you to do today is I would like you to go and have a look at Meerkat Mail again. So go and have a look at the storybook that I gave you a link for yesterday. I'll put the link up again today and have a look and go through the book and see if you can find any names, places, days of the week, that have a capital letter. So we're not looking at the start of sentences today. We are just looking at names, places, and days of the week, okay? So what I want you to do is go through the book and see if you can find any names that start with a capital letter. I'm just going to show you these pictures at the front of the book, so you might want to pause. So we have Maggie with baby Billy. Mickey. Great granddad Cecil. The triplets. Terence and Tulip. Great Aunt Maureen, Florence's kids. Okay, have a little look. Go and read the story again, looking at the pages. So, for example, on the first one, we have Sonny's name that has a capital letter. And it says, Sonny lives in the Kalahari Desert. So Kalahari Desert is the name of the place, so it has a capital letter. You might need your grown-up to do this for you. Pause on each page that the lady is reading and see if you can spot any names, places or days of the week that start with a capital letter. When you think you have spotted them, I would like you to make a list. Now we know how to write a list, don't we? We've done this lots of times before. So each word goes underneath the last word, making sure we stick to the margin. So I'm going to start you off. So we are learning to use capital letters. And we're going to make a list of names, places, and days of the week that have capital letters in this story. So I'm going to start off with the word Sunny, because that is the name of our main character. This one here, I'm going to use a capital S, like that. Make sure you're 
you're forming those letters correctly. Sunny. Now the next one is Kalahari Desert. So when I'm writing a list, do I start over here? No, of course I don't. I start underneath here, don't I? And it's a name of a place, so I'm going to do a capital letter. Make sure I'm spelling it correctly. I'm forming my letters correctly. Kala. Ari. And that's, it's got a capital D there as well. So I'm going to... on going with your list see how many you can find and let your teacher know remember we're not looking for words that start the beginning of a sentence today we're just looking for names places and days of the week see how you get on let your teachers see your lists and i'll speak to you again tomorrow bye for now